If you are looking for something new and different for the upcoming Compliance Week celebration in November, check out The Compliance Kids. It's my three-book children's series on compliance and compliance professionals for children. But they make great gifts and great training tools for your employees. You can check it out on Amazon.com. We've linked to it in the show notes. The Compliance Tip of the Day. This is the podcast where you bring you daily insights and practical advice on navigating the ever-evolving landscape of compliance requirements. Whether you're a seasoned compliance professional or just starting your journey, my aim in this podcast is to provide you with a bite-sized, actionable tip to help you stay on top of your compliance game. Join us as we explore the latest trends from the Department of Justice, share some best practices, demystify complex compliance issues to help keep your organization doing business ethically and in compliance and, at the end of the day, more profitably. Tune in daily for your dose of compliance wisdom. Let's make compliance a little less daunting, one tip at a time. Now a word from the sponsor of the Compliance Podcast Network, Ethico. If you're a compliance officer, middle managers are crucial in getting your programs from you to your frontline employees. But how do we activate those managers and get them on our side? Ethico's new Middle Manager Toolkit equips you with the skills needed to empower your managers, to promote a culture where ethical behavior thrives and employees feel empowered to speak up. Learn how to turn frontline managers into ethical leaders with our new white paper, Empowering Middle Managers as Ethics Champions. And did I mention you can get the whole toolkit for free? Head to ethico.com to download the full toolkit today. In today's episode, we want to take a look at branding lessons for the compliance professional from Bela Lugosi's Count Dracula. When we think about the iconic portrayal of Count Dracula, it is almost not possible to picture anyone but Bela Lugosi's from his 1931 film role. His elegant, mysterious demeanor and commanding presence define the image of Jack Dracula literally for generations. But what does this classic portrayal of the vampire have to do with corporate compliance? More than you might think. Today we're going to explore branding lessons from Count Dracula. Number one, consistency in presentation is key. From the moment Bela Lugosi first appears on stage as Dracula, his image is unmistakable. The sleek, Black cape, the formal attire, the slick back hair. He is always meticulously dressed and composed. This consistent visual representation became Dracula's calling card and is why he is recognized globally, even by those who have never seen the film. Two, a strong compliance brand requires attention to detail. Lugosi's Dracula is memorable not just for the sweeping cape or the chilling stare, but for the subtleties of his performance, the deliberate pace of his speech, the way he uses his eyes to convey menace. Every detail contributes to the overall impression that Dracula is both sophisticated and dangerous. Branding, of course, is no different. Every touch point, every interaction with your brand contributes to the overall perception of your compliance program. From the way your compliance team members answer the phone to the layout of your website, these seemingly small details all add up to a cohesive brand image. Three, create a memorable and engaging experience. When the audiences saw Lugosi's Dracula for the first time, they did not just see a movie, they experienced it. The chilling atmosphere, the tension-filled interactions, the eerie soundtrack all combined to create a sense of dread that lingered long after the credits rolled. Dracula was not just a movie, it was an experience. For compliance teams, this means creating training sessions that are engaged and thought-provoking, not just rote exercise. It means fostering a workplace environment where employees can feel empowered to speak up without fear of retaliation. Just as Dracula left a lasting impression on employees, compliance leaders should strive to leave a positive and lasting impression on employees and other stakeholders, one that reemphasizes the importance of doing business ethically and in compliance. I don't think we talk enough about branding of compliance in the compliance community, but I hope you will consider this topic as you move forward with your own communications program. This is Tom Fox again. This new podcast, Compliance Tip of the Day, will appear daily. And frankly, it's one of the most requested topics for a podcast that I get on a regular basis. It's going to be short and sweet with uh, one tip with some takeaways that you can utilize 
to implement into your compliance program. If you've got a question that you would like a tip on, please submit them uh, through our website and we will use them in an upcoming episode. The Compliance Tip of the Day is a production of the award-winning Compliance Podcast Network. Finally, this podcast contains promotional materials.